USS Geraldar, fourth the biggest and baddest nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in the world, first in class. USS Geraldar, Fort CVN-78, is an aircraft carrier for the United States Navy, and the lead ship of her class. The ship is named after the 38th President of the United States, Gerald Ford, whose World War II naval service included combat duty aboard the light aircraft carrier Monterey in the Pacific Theater. Gerald R. Ford entered the fleet replacing the decommissioned USS Enterprise, CVN-65, which ended her 51 years of active service in December 2012. Originally scheduled for delivery in 2015, Gerald R. Ford was delivered to the Navy on the 31st of May 2017 and formally commissioned by President Donald Trump on the 22nd of July 2017. Her first deployment departed the 4th of October 2022. As of 2024, she is the world's largest aircraft carrier and the largest warship ever constructed. Gerald R. Ford is intended to be the first of a class of aircraft carriers that offer significant performance improvements over the previous Nimitz class. Gerald R. Ford is equipped with N, N, SPY-3 and N, SPY for active electronically scanned array multifunction, multi-band radar. With the ship self-defense system, SSDS, MK to baseline 10 of the Mod 6 variant command and control system, an island that is shorter in length than 20 feet, 6.1 M, taller than that of the Nimitz class. It is set 140 feet, 43M, farther aft and 3 feet, 0.91M, closer to the edge of the ship, replacing traditional steam catapults. The electromagnetic aircraft launch system, OMLS, will launch all non-tall carrier aircraft. This innovation eliminates the traditional requirement to generate and store steam, freeing up considerable area below deck. With the OMLS, Gerald R. Ford can accomplish 25% more aircraft launches per day than the Nimitz class and requires 25% fewer crew members. The Navy estimates it will save $4 billion in operating costs over a 50-year lifespan. Ford entered an 18-month post-delivery test and trials period in late October 2019. The test and trials period are designed to stress critical combat systems and to exercise the flight deck with the goal of ensuring the ship's overall deployment readiness. During this time the Ford performed exceptionally well and conducted a series of 11 independent steaming events that were interlaced with shore-based maintenance windows of opportunity. Over the 18-month testing time, the Ford exercised installed systems, conducted crew training, and completed construction and activation of select shipboard systems. Over the course of four months in 2021, Ford withstood the impact of three 40,000-pound underwater blasts, also known as full ship shock trials. Shock trials are a testing period that proves the validation of the ship's ability to sustain operations in a simulated combat environment using live ordnance. The test demonstrated that the ship will be able to withstand formidable shocks and continue to operate under extreme conditions. Ford finished its flight deck certification and Carrier Air Traffic Control Center certification on March 29, 2022. Once out at sea, F, a 18D, F Super Hornets, E2 Hawkeyes, MH60 or Seahawks, E, a 18G Growlers, and MH60S Nighthawks assigned to Carrier Air Wing, CVW, 8 conducted operations to prove the ship's and crew's capabilities. Ford's flight deck certification and carrier qualifications are part of the basic tailored training phase, Prior to the ship's first deployment, the Ford is currently doing workups, which are a series of underway periods conducting training, running drills, conducting flight operations, and completing certifications in preparation for its first deployment, and the US Navy's first Ford class full deployment. The Ford and its crew has gained a huge amount of experience and training since it was built, and are going to be thriving during the upcoming deployments.